Hello, I am Kate. My team ID is SG7070 and I am from Singapore. This time, I am taking part in Cold Space Rescue U19. I have taken part in Cold Space Rescue First Steps before and I am looking forward to this competition as well. In this challenge, we are given a task to collect as many objects as you can and score as many points as possible. You would have to avoid obstacles as well as falling off the map and traps as they can reduce the score that we will get. In order to make the robot pick up objects and do many other actions, we would code it by making statements and giving conditions and actions to them. Many people would have different methods to complete this challenge, but mine is to randomly move and search for objects and then deposit them. Doing this increases the rate and chance of finding objects, but decreases the chance of getting a super object, which is an object that gives you a lot of points. Since I am new to U19, I think that this is the best method that I can use. To make the robot more efficient, we can add more codes by breaking down bigger tasks into smaller ones. For example, if the robot gets stuck in a specific area and would spend a few seconds trying to get out of the area, we can use the coordinates of that specific area and code the robot to avoid that area which would help in navigating. This improves the robot by a lot and would save lots of time as well as to be able to get more points. The basic algorithm for my robot is telling it to avoid the sides of the map, the traps, obstacles, and swamps. The tool that I use to code this for the robot is an AI menu in the studio or simulator itself, where you can create statements and give conditions and actions to them. For example, the conditions include the coordinates of the robot, the color it detects with its color sensors, its ultrasonic sensors, and many more. Using the conditions and actions to code makes things easier and more clearer. You can rename the statements that you create so that you would be able to tell what the statement is for and keep things much tidier when coding. This is a rough idea of the code for obstacles in front of the robot using an ultrasonic sensor. If the distance between the robot and an obstacle is less than 10, turn right or left, else continue moving forward. There is one specific problem that I encountered that made me spend a lot of time and get less points. That problem is that my robot kept falling off the map and getting a penalty. What had caused this is that I coded the robot to turn using only one wheel and not both, causing one of the wheels to step outside of the boundaries and get a penalty. I would get less points and my robot would be relocated. When my robot gets relocated, most of the time it turns away from a place that I want it to go to, therefore, I might get less points. Hence, I decided to change the code when I get closer to the borders so that I would not step out of the boundaries. Sadly, I am not able to show a video of a run, so I shall describe what happened using this map of the preliminary game. Whenever I ran the game, after a few seconds, my robot would usually get stuck between this trap and the obstacle, when it has items that it picked up. So I decided to make an invisible barrier to keep my robot from getting trapped there, and spend a while to get out. And in the dark grey area, which is a swamp land, it restricts the robot's speed. My robot would usually get caught there and spend lots of time there, and I wish that I should have blocked that area using a code so my robot would not go there and spend time there. What I think that my robot did well on the runs is that it was able to pick up most of the objects it comes across and to be able to create a super object, which is an object that appears on the map when you successfully collect and deposit a set of red, green, and blue objects. Even so, my robot was not able to find the deposit area easily and rarely picked up super objects. If I were to do this challenge again, I would make the robot stay in certain areas to earn more points and would try navigating to deposit areas. During challenge, I have learned how to use coordinates to avoid a specific place and how Cold Space Rescue U19 works. 
before I end this video, a quick note to all the other Coast Base game players. Just have fun and enjoy yourself. I hope that my video can give you some ideas on what to do as well as some tips. Thank you.